week number one and two of my skinny fat to fit transformation. I'm Aaron, I'm a fitness professional and I make fat loss simple. If you haven't subscribed already, please click that subscribe button. If you like the video, like the video and any comments or any questions are always welcome. Leave them down below in the comments section. Made a little bit of a checklist for today. I've got a few weeks to go over few little tweaks and changes to go over as well and the first day back in the gym. Now week one, the very first week after my last video went really well. Based at home, home training, body weight and some light dumbbells I've got. Trained four or five times a week, diet was on point, 2,400 calories a day, no problem at all, good week, lost two pounds and body fat coming in at 21.9 percent whereas before it was 22.3 now on to week two not so good had a bit of a setback the training the motivation weren't quite there i trained managed to get twice two workouts a week which is better than nothing and still managed to stimulate the muscles a little bit had a pull day had a push day and there was there's still improvements in the amount of push-ups I could do. Like so the reps were increasing, just like the, the pull day as well. It was I've only got 15 kilogram dumbbells, so there's only so much I can do. So I was doing 30, 40 reps on on each arm. So it wasn't ideal, but I was keeping it as intense as I can with what I've got to work with. Um, onto the diet, it started reasonably well the first couple of days then I took flexible diet in a little bit too far a few too a few too many snacks a few too many treats a little bit too much food coming on into the evenings I was eating a little bit too much and by the end of the week I was eating more like 3,000 calories a day rather than 2,400 calories a day so that led to me putting a pound back on and my body fat went back up to 22%. But not to worry, this is a real life transformation. Setbacks happen. And it's important that I show the, the setbacks as well as explain that it's not like a streamlined point A to point B process. There's, there's going to be little blips along the way. And it's a case of how do you respond to these little blips? And actually, I've adapted my diet ever so slightly. There's a strategy that I've used with some of my clients, but not necessarily myself yet. So I'm going to use it with myself. That's something called calorie cycling. I'll go back into that at the end of the video. But first, I want to talk about the first day back at the gym. On Sunday, it was so good. Like I didn't, I underestimated the actual psychological benefits of going back to the gym because afterwards I felt so good. The best that I felt probably about three or four months since I've actually been to the gym before so that was really nice and um, filming this now it's Monday I've had another another session in so this week's looking nice and positive now calorie cycling what I mentioned before how this is going to work instead of having 2,400 calories a day I'm going to times that by seven and the calories are going to change throughout the week some people like to do this eating less calories throughout the week lets them enjoy more calories on the weekend so they've got more flexibility on the weekend some people like to have the higher calorie days kind of spread out every two or three days just that it can have a bit of a controlled cheat if you will myself what tends to happen with myself i usually start the week off quite well and then it's by the end of the week that I tend to struggle. So the way I've structured my calories this week, and I'm going to keep it reasonably similar week going on, especially if it works, is the calories are going to be quite low the first couple of days, but then they're going to ramp up as the weeks go by. So for ex as the days go by. So for example, I've written this down. 2,400 times 7 is 16,800 calories. So on Monday, I'm filming this today. So today is 
a low calorie day, 1,800 calories, going to be the same tomorrow because I tend to start the week off quite strong minded. And I imagine a lot of people from some of my clients as well start the week off nice and strong. And it's the end of the week where we tend to struggle. So when I get into Wednesday and it's going to be the 2,400 calories, the calories are going to start increasing. Thursday, 2,400 calories again. Friday, we've got 3,000 calories because we've had lower calorie days during the week. On a Saturday, 3,000 calories again. So you can see there that where I would, I would naturally start to struggle my diet, I've given myself more calories to kind of help with that. So I'm going with my natural kind of rhythm. And then Sunday, 2,400 calories. I will assess at that point and then, but I expect the week afterwards I'm going to do something similar to that. I mean, you don't have to be as structured to that if you wanted to follow something similar. You basically just calculate the daily amount of calories that you want, times it by seven, and you could do that throughout the week. So you could see how many calories you eat on the Monday, then just subtract it off, subtract it off as the days go by, and just based off kind of how you how hungry you actually feel but I've been kind of resistant training for a while I've been on top of my diet for a while well, obviously not the last four or five months but before that I have and I'm aware of how I slip up and when these slip ups happen so if you've been doing it for a while you can kind of predict it and then put strategies like this in place to kind of stop that from happening so that's what I'm doing I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, like the video. If you've got any questions, then leave them down below. And again, subscribe to the channel because it really helps, especially as I'm quite a new channel myself.